Wow, finally we are here. Welcome everyone who have taken the time to tune in this Sunday evening. We have been counting down and thank you for spreading the word. Chit Chat Reloaded is now part of your Sunday diary. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Tonight, our very first show is loaded with all things beauty, and I'm Andy, your host, and I'm not alone, of course. I have our resident chef, Tools, and he will be doing the most. And, of course, our in-house beauty enthusiast, Nzwagi. To see what she's capable of, look no further. But before we get into it, I would like to take this opportunity to mention what a sad week it has been for our South Africa, as we have lost some of the best in the entertainment industry, seasoned actor Menzi Ngubane and equally seasoned actress Noxi Makashalala. And the Zulu nation, home and abroad, is in mourning of the passing of King Goodwill Zweditini. We send our deepest condolences top to their respective families. Thank you. So. Guys, it is Sunday and we are here. We yeah. made it. How do you guys Amazing. feel? Hello. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> You're serious. Yeah. Mm, I can smell the food from course, here, tools. I can like, smell it from I'm here. For you. Oh my God. Can't wait to get into it. And Zwaki, how are you feeling, girl? I'm feeling pumped, energetic, mm -hmm. yes. excited. Yes. You know everything about fashion, yes. beauty. Let's get girly. <laughs> let's get. Uh, let's I love get it. To it. I love it. Let's but before we get to that, before we get to that, are you guys ready for some chit chat? Yeah. Okay. It's one Let's talk that about I want it. The yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, as we all know, March has been a very, very busy week, of a busy course. month, of course. Yeah. We have been celebrating um, the International Women's Day, and oh, also yeah. later oh, yeah. into the <laughs> yeah, later into the month, we'll be celebrating um, Human Rights Day. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of International Women's Month? I mean, as a woman myself, I can't keep up with these days. Mm. Of course. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, like uh, the. the this uh into it like a cool and like mm -hmm. it like i think we should it should be something that we keep in our minds that okay. uh oh mama they should be our priorities in mm -hmm. everything that we're doing mm -hmm. and abused and being killed yeah. by us gents guys please let's stop that i'm glad you mentioned that tools and okay, what are your thoughts being a woman you know mm -hmm. it's so important for our voices to be heard of okay course. This is a month where we can just take captive of that. Yeah. Where we are heard, mm -hmm. what we have to say will be listened to. Okay. You know, because we know how our voices are always silenced. Mm -hmm. But now this is to You say so. We're going so. to say what we have to say and we're going to say it with our chest. Oh. Nah. We're going to say it with our chest because... Okay, is full. Kalang is full, but because <laughs> yeah, we, have to, uh, we have to be heard. And yeah. You know, the history be behind Women's Month is amazing. Mm. Because it was a month where... Um, you no know, gender violence and equality was just mm -hmm. emphasized in the mm -hmm. nations, you know, mm -hmm. because we were all silenced. You know, we we're all silenced as women, but then going to go march, we are heard, and it's it's getting louder. Oh. It's getting louder, guys. Oh. I, I hear you, girl. I hear you. I hear you, guys. But you know, this is my thing. My take is. For me personally, this is yeah. what I think. As much as I agree with everything that you guys said, it's a month where we should be heard. But I mean, we should be heard all, all the day. time. Yeah. It shouldn't take one little day for us as for women you. to be heard. Yeah, or fun. each and every other international and national day. For me personally, I think it has gotten to a point where I'm just super annoyed with all these international and national days. Yeah. Because for me, I feel like... You know, it, they don't serve the purpose that they were meant, that they were intended for. I say this because now they all get glorified as celebratory days instead yeah. of they should be educational. Yeah. They should mm. be, um, you know, awakening and sharpening our minds as young people to know where we are, what happened, what transpired back in the day. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, just, the reason why we have this day today. Yeah. So I feel now they're just making it this glorified, let's just celebrate, drink, do yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't okay. feel like it serves the purpose that it should it educate. Should, like you yeah, were saying, because, what does it really mean? Yeah. So that's my take and on it. It should not be a one day thing. That it shouldn't be. Like we're celebrating mm. a a woman but mm -hmm. the next day you hear that a woman was raped and killed yeah. exactly so, yeah, that's my point that's my point the, the truth is not out there as to what really transpired yeah. that is not what that's not what we are taught you see i think that this is these are the things that we should be taught not 
um, painted as a celebratory day. There's okay. nothing for me to celebrate, to celebrate if our women are being killed, like you mentioned. Of if yeah. the kids are being killed, if women are pushed back, you know what I mean? Not given positions of power, and then we're given one little day okay. to yeah. celebrate. Celebrate yeah. what? Yeah. What are we celebrating? Yeah. So for me, it should be, uh, it should you know, be a norm. Yeah, it yeah. should be a norm. Yeah. We should be empowering each other. We should be, we should be taught the truth. That's my thing. The truth. You know what I mean? I feel like, yes, I, I, you, you're right in saying that it should be a norm. Yes. It has to be a norm. Mm -hmm. But then you know how um, the saying goes, um, you can't change a leopard's spots. What's the saying? Yes, yes, it yes. It takes some time, yeah. 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 Take some time for, for, for us to, to tell society or to teach society this is what should happen. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to we have to keep doing it. We have to keep doing it. You have to keep Every doing mm -hmm. it. You know, in order for people to get across. But you know what? Okay, what's going on? Yeah, mm. We we should be celebrated. We should be, yeah. we should be protected mm -hmm. yeah. from society because we are not protected mm -hmm. from society. We are not but who is going to protect us in Zwaki from society ourselves. because we're living within society? Ourselves. It comes back to what Andy said that Fanel Ndoba Bandu Bafundi is I feel like I see fundi I don't feel like see fundi so when these days arise. Ne? Like so we're celebrating International Women's yeah. Day. I don't think that day is used for awareness. Mm -hmm. I don't think that day is used to, you know, put knowledge out there. Knowledge. I think it's just glorified as women celebrate. Yeah. One woman just like happy women, <laughs> International Women's Day. What is it? And after that, what is that? Yeah, yeah, but then can I can I say this? See, I found this. But it's in my mail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like if, if if you if you hear me correctly, yeah. Yeah. we are being taught. Yeah. We are being told what to do, what to say, how to treat women. Uh -huh. We are to told every single day, now. even at home. Even are you we as a woman. But are we, but are we listening? Are we listening as the people? You know that's that that's that's where. That's another. Like the, that's another point because yeah. the majority of women like can can be vocal, mm -hmm. but yeah. when it comes to that, into you know, it's happening to them, then mm -hmm. but truly about it. Mm. Mm. I don't know if I, I'm, I'm getting you guys correctly. You're saying we are being taught. You're saying yeah. these days are out there yes. to be to teach us what is going on. Mm. I I don't I totally disagree. I think like I said, I feel like these days are just glorified. I yeah. think these days are just put out there for us to celebrate. Interesting, I as you or not. I don't think people understand what transpired in Geza and Soko in order for us today to have these days of to course. celebrate. Of course. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, if you can just ask Um Tunjengok, what is Human Rights Day that we will be celebrating mm. sometime next week? Um yeah. what happened? Yeah. And for me, when you know you hear that, okay, women, I mean, um, Human Rights Day was a day where people were killed and shot yeah. and everything. I just feel like, why celebrate that? Because those things are still happening. Why celebrate? Because those things still happen. So, so you're saying we're not listening. No, we're not being told the truth. The truth is okay. what I'm saying is missing. <laughs> I think we... Well, you feel like the truth is you missing. Like yeah. 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 I think we're misled. Yes, yeah. because we've looked yeah. at commercials during these, these holidays. Yeah. You know, and then we just get drunk, and then it's done. Yeah. <laughs> then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just oh, take yeah. it as a public then, day. Mm. I feel like we are being taught. Okay. As much as you're saying that there's no truth behind it, mm -hmm. and, but I still say, you know what? It's it's actually two pieces in a pot for me. Okay. See, yeah. afundi mm. Okay. Ayik? Ayik? I think you can go, the method of teaching. Yeah. That is my problem, the method, yeah, of, method teaching. of teaching. And you're saying, Siafundi, so, but Akonyan, so Siafundi, so, and don't. Siafundi, so, and don't. Don't let Siafundi, so, So, for me, Maybe, guys. Like, I think they uh, should try to improve the, the, the method of teaching, mm -hmm. and it yeah. should, they should start teaching it at an early age, mm -hmm. like, and not teach a certain gender, like a zombie mm -hmm. gender, yes. to teach you about, uh, about, in yes, the equality, yes, yes, how to yes, treat yes, people. Of course. You know what? I feel like we, we, we life orientation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where it should start. Should improve that. I subject. feel like we should look instead of looking at the problem. Let's look for solutions. Okay. How about yeah, we think about solutions? Right. Now I'm saying. Let's go in. Let's go in. Like well, life orientation. No, 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 no. Yeah. Life orientation. <laughs> yes. Yeah, one and yeah. Okay, the fine. earlier the better. Yeah, the earlier yeah. the better. I mean, because let, for if you have a son. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
When you are so na so na so na, but so you know, as a cool area, Zealand, you can say Of course, and you know, if if in Domazana, you must teach her to celebrate herself. Oh no! Yeah. And as oh. Mele, of course. Yes. Oh, no. As Tan, mm. guys, I'm enjoying this. I I don't know about you guys, no. but no. I'm enjoying no. this. Yes. <laughs> I hope they're enjoying it as much mm. as we yeah. are. I'm getting so much from you guys. I I just feel like. Everything that we are saying needs to be put in a box. Yeah. I'm yeah. not saying these days should not be there completely. Yeah. I'm just saying let's change the approach. Yeah. Let's course. change the approach in how we educate because I feel like how we that's what's mit them. yeah, that's what's missing. I that's just how I feel. And any more thoughts? I'm just saying women should be celebrated every day. Every day. Every we day. should be recognized Good. every single day. Absolutely. We should solidify ourselves in mm -hmm. society every single day. Uh, and mm. if you have something to say, say it with your chest. Mm. Don't be scared of telling us who, but SMG is empty, but so telling us who. Telling us who, but you know. Are you going in, Lel? Are you going in, Lel? Absolutely. Like there's nothing. Absolutely. The, there's absolutely nothing yeah, else that we can do that other than say, just one thing, that. Mm. One thing that I can say mm -hmm. is that we must take care of the women. Yeah. Thank you too, so much. I, I hope you guys are enjoying this conversation as much as we are. But we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with the reload. Welcome back to The Reload. I hope you guys are having just as much fun as we are. It got a little heated here before the yeah. break, but now we're going to cool off because, hey, stomach, hey, <laughs> boomba. <laughs> so now we're going to get to tools, and he has prepared a stuffed butternut for us. It's delicious. It's mouth-watering. Tools, come in, chap. What <laughs> have you prepared for us? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have there for us? I'm trying to see stuffed butternut. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got our butternut, we've got our spinach, we've got mm -hmm. our mushrooms, then our seasoning agents, and we've also got our plum uh, tomatoes, then we have our red onion, and uh, a feta choice, and a feta cheese. So what wow. happens here, yeah, Andy, uh, mm -hmm. It's up to you if which protein do you want because this is a high protein meal. Okay. But for us, yeah, we've made uh, we, we've made it with a uh, chicken fillets and bacon. Mm. Mm. Taste. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Uh. To taste it. Oh my god! I can. Now, tools. I, I just want to know um, what got you into cooking because I know growing up, like the previous conversation we just had, uh, growing up, you know, um, cooking the kitchen is for the women. Mm -hmm. So you as a guy, what made you feel like, listen, I'm going to go study yeah. to become a chef. I want to cook. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I, spend more, I spend more time with my sisters and my mom. You've got a lot of yeah, sisters. You've got a lot of sisters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But as a guy, like we can cook. Even my brothers mm. do like the preparation meals as in nine. Yes. So as... I used to spend a lot in, of time in the kitchen and uh -huh. waiting for mm. leftovers and stuff. <laughs> so mama, when she, like they pick I, like uh -huh. I used to assist there and there yeah. and there. Mm -hmm. Then my other sister went to varsity, then she did food science and nutrition. Oh, then okay. when she came home, mm. yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, I remember yeah, this other, I, yeah. science, <laughs> I remember this other recipe that she used to make with like, uh -huh. really, like it was called chicken alakane. Ooh, oh. fancy stuff. <laughs> so time. that's where you 
your love yeah, started that's from? Where my love started. Oh. Yeah. Then came over. I went to varsity. I did food science and nutrition myself. Yes. Then, uh, and that's uh, where we uh, kind of uh, met yeah. with the food. <laughs> now, tools. Tell us what do you have there? Oh, you've already told us what you have. So, yeah. where do we start with all of that? What oh. do you mix and what not? All right. Like then, yeah. Uh, like you take your butternut, which mm -hmm. is going to be a starch in this meal, of course. Like okay. yeah. Now we are taking care of our, our bodies. bodies. And stuff. Yes. Yeah, trying to shade it all. It's a very <laughs> difficult thing. Okay. Uh -huh. Then, uh, then you put it Then you cut it into like a max alai tuna. Then okay. you take the pits out. Then you put it in the microwave for like ten minutes. Yes, oh, okay. Then it becomes in soft. But uh, for indubi kololing a sugi, like we time say just a little bit of uh, olive oil so that it, ah, yeah, okay. yeah, so it doesn't burn. Then you chop your your, your spinach into Great. the size of your choice, of course. Oh, okay. That you know. Then like you take your mushrooms. Then you saute your mushrooms with the with the red onion, uh -huh. of course, like, yeah, yeah. It's, my, it's one of my favorites. Then after that, yeah, as I've said that to you, Ufaga, yeah, any protein uh, of your choice, like you can take uh, chicken breast, bacon, uh, ham and stuff and stuff. Okay, so then you do your, your own filling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Then you saute them, then saute them, it's just to fry them a little bit. Oh, yeah. yes, oh, you okay. must come with yeah. it. You must come correct. We don't know the like saute, okay. Do you, okay. Do you, do you okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. Island, and I don't. Then you know, like you saute them a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you take out your, then you take out your your your, your, your yes. butternut from your right. microwave. Okay. Then of course, like it's it's a bit rate. Then you put a cinnamon for the okay. flavor. Yeah. And mm. of course. Okay. Then if feeling like if feeling yako after you saute them, then you put your your. Your, your protein there, okay. which can be your bacon, like your chicken fillet or anything. Mm -hmm. Then we Which fry. in this case you did. Yeah. Okay. Then we fry a bit. Then after we fry it, then we fuck it. We put it with our Okay, with pumpkin. Then okay. like you put it for five minutes in, a, in an oven. Yeah. Oh, so it's that easy. Yeah. Then after that, then you take it out, then you put your, your tomato cherries. Okay. And you have them. Then you put your feta cheese a little bit. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. So that zinga and the feta oh, cheese. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Then, of course, like your seasoning, which is my favorite. Ah, oh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, then you put them in an oven again for like 10 minutes, then the meal is ready. So tops 15 minutes. 15 minutes 15 and you've minutes got yourself a stuffed, a delicious stuffed butternut. butternut. Now, Tools, for someone who doesn't like butternut, like my friend over <laughs> here, yeah. she hates all the pumpkin family butternut squash, yeah. Yeah. Eh, all of oh, it. Oh, so for, then what do you eat? It's a very sad, very sad, <laughs> and very <laughs> dark story. Okay. okay. So okay. for someone who doesn't like the butternut family, what but can you likes suggest? The filling because I know that. Yes. The filling that mm. So means. what can they use so, the filling so for? Of course, like you can use that filling for your pasta dishes. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh so nice. Like you can your pasta nice. Dishes. If feeling yako ibe ibe the same feeling that you use for your butternut okay. stuffing like can I also ask can you also you know like a potato right half uh -huh. that and then just have just a bit of this that no, 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 no. it doesn't I make sense like <laughs> <this. laughs> oh you can't no 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 you can't sorry do that. sis sorry. <laughs> not with the pump with not with the potato but yeah. definitely yeah. with pasta, pasta right yeah, is pasta. the pasta the only thing you can put it in yeah but if you've got some leftovers like you can make uh, you you can use it as a pizza topping oh, okay. you can use it like as a sandwich top uh, filling oh, and, yeah nice. so the filling goes a long way nice. and the filling it's so easy to prepare and it's just the things that you have in your fridge oh okay yeah, it's just the i can that see you have in very fridge. convenient yeah now i know myself that you know i i wouldn't want to cook for uh -huh. a chef of because course. i mean i don't want to be judged now for my <laughs> cooking so tools tell me are you one of those chefs that judges now when mama comes <laughs> cooking something and you're like hey, kele, it's not me i'm ready no, this no, no, is no. not well done how is it no my team like i really don't judge like mm -hmm. it was like of course in do your peck i add mm. right uh, yes so of course the art is it to like is yes she and like now i wanted to be those african traditional chefs Yes. Yeah. Oh, like I wanted to, like a dinner African want to say, cuisine. Yeah, like I wanted mm. them more. Nice, but of course. Nice. Like, yeah, so now, 
now are you this type of person that um just cooks because it's like your job when just professional if you had a whole restaurant or a hotel you cook right there or you this type of person as in lean you you hands on you work same thing we need tools you like auntie pekela mama pekela i got this are you that person yeah, like I'm, I'm always hands on i remember this other time like who can like um to be like about who goes because the brother was busy still lazy and all that so like i was so hands on and like i'm about to But they were so surprised. You know, I, can like, imagine, like, I can imagine. I can imagine. Like, like yeah. of course, the limbi is just a pan. Like, uh -huh. hands on pan. Yeah. So, like, Nangok, but Sanbi is a chef. Like, so, like, Abandu Bayan does about cooking and stuff. Of course. I but I can be lazy at times, but, okay, yeah. of course. Like, like any yeah. other person, of course. Yeah. So, tell me, Tools, have there been any challenges that you faced as, you know, being a male and a funny enough because a lot of chefs are actually men yeah, of course so mm. but have have you um encountered any um difficulties or problems when doing your chef course of course of course like i've like in the gender's experience I'm more special with laying the land you know because mm -hmm. like i want mm. traditional cuisines and stuff oh, like yes. and like they say like no where you going to work like mm. uh, who's going to take you serious like everyone can prepare those type of meals mm. can like we can take them serious like and put them on another yes. level yes. then not yeah. everyone has to prepare sushi of now course, yeah. Yeah. yeah and not everyone likes sushi and yeah. stuff. especially i mean as you know those <laughs> darling <laughs> <laughs> so as as papa gang of the african yeah. restaurants of African cuisine of course. and um as papa gang ba iphekwe kamnandi uyibali ngimali ngathi iphekwe ngumama and like i papa gang at that we we pay so much focus yes. in terms of in nutritional value of yes. a certain meal yeah. so those are the things that i want to look at like in dobana like like um, we can have umosho then yes. city umosho is so high in protein mm. because of mm. imoji mm. and the starch like that's a balanced meal yes. like, okay like, so like, basically the only mm. there the, the, the the balanced or the nutritious meals like it's these sushis like and uh, steaks and all of those yeah. yeah okay so now is it possible with the with your african cuisines to make them more healthier as we all know most now we like because <laughs> you know <laughs> the oilier the better sometimes when it comes yeah, to african cuisine course, yeah. so and spicy and all yeah. of that so is there a way maybe you can make it more But healthier you know, that i can tell you is that i've realized because like i've once assisted someone that was doing a, a research on mm -hmm. indigenous food Oh I've realized that they are so high in protein because mm -hmm. like do you know that uh umgosho on its own it's a protein meal Oh yeah because it's like so imboji like imboji <laughs> like, so like no like it, it contains a lot of protein oh. because like imboji mm -hmm. uh, like they they they're a good source of protein oh. yeah then of course like is semp can go again so that's where it falls yeah mm. that you, know, you can prepare like umgosho wako like then then you put a little bit like of e the pilchard uh, oh. then you put some veggies on like your spinach on it right, when it's ready mm -hmm. that's an african uh, that's a, like that's african that's dish. african mm -hmm. yeah then you can have those things and they good so you what's know. your um signature dish when it comes to your african cuisine do you know my mm. of course yes but now how people prepare them what is uh -huh. so much because, oh like, how my mother taught me like is that like wafaka pa mbizeni mbizeni like when it goes on doing it is a muffin pans and stuff and stuff mm -hmm. so that like they they like the the the, the flavor is in infused kula do yeah. 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 so, so you're getting me all hungry right now i know that mosama tombolo you you prepare them with some meat yeah. so which which is your meat i like omelet on it Oh, oh yeah. so you had board. Yeah. Had board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so easy to prepare it with umleko because uh -huh. like yes. when you're doing e amadombolo at the same time like funeka inyama yakho ibe namathambo ne. So that inhlama izakwazi uqhaseke emathambeni. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, okay. those are it's like I really because like you can have that like then you have the with your veggies and stuff that's mm. it. Uh-huh. I nice. so wanted to call you this other time and cause no pega is steamed bread guys <laughs> and the way I love it. So I'm out there like hey kutok for kwando nantoni and then, but I I tried it and it was really really good. Yeah, so big ups yeah. to me. Yeah. Just love is that for umdo ongakinya mebomvu. Oh yes. shame. Hey, you don't eat pumpkin. <laughs> I don't eat you don't eat red meat. So what's the 
had I can have it in a hard board. And hard board like and you know what the hard board like it's more nutritious because mm-hmm. like in Gukwe's kulele. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah like so there are this no, is like, way, so, right? Exactly like so of course in those the edge where you go your four by cool like is kulele by then it's and then it's an easy and it's a cheap meal because yeah. like in a flower car. And they yeah. and they be hard boy. Oh, then hard boy, hard boy, they had it. Then they had boy, then peg me like a party. Yeah, that's a very high, mm. uh, like these meals that are nutritious as mm-hmm. party. Because of his chefs, is that they don't look at those meals and stuff. Yeah, and because and when they prepare a. a it don't bother like what that thing pain and so like you know you know like 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 you know You better stay tuned because when we come back, we'll be tasting that delicious mouth-watering stuffed butternut. You do not want to miss this. We'll be right back with the reload. What's up guys, welcome to Conversations with me, Tandi. I am your host. I'm so excited. This is a brand new show. We are coming to you live from Keith Ngesi Digital TV. Check us on all social media platforms, Facebook and YouTube. This is a show that brings you purposeful conversations that seeks to heal, restore and empower. Every Saturday, we will be joined by a guest suggested by you that will share their extraordinary journey of how they came to their authentic power. These guests come from all walks of life. We will host life coaches, entrepreneurs, property mogul, motivational speakers, social media influencers, etc. This show focuses on raising consciousness and inspiration, conversations where we thrive learn and grow. I am so excited that we have migrated from Conversations with Tandi, which was on Facebook. We are now a big show on a digital platform called Keith Ngesi Digital TV. I hope to earn the privilege of your time. Do converse with us as we are counting down to the 13th of March 2021. We will be live from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Do join us. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Ready? Welcome back to The Reload. Wow, I hope you guys are having just as much fun as we are. Um, please don't forget to show us some love. Hop onto our um, YouTube channel and subscribe. And also you can watch previous shows that you might have missed. Also do like our Facebook page and just show us some love. Now, before the ad break, we were talking to Tools with all things food. I cannot wait to taste his delicious meal. But before we get to that, we will be bringing in Unzwagi, telling us everything about beauty and fashion. Girl, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Girl. <laughs> you're looking bright. You're looking Thank everything you. gorgeous. And by the way, in case you didn't know, this is all her. This is all her. I did that. So please. Next time she should also do something. <laughs> <laughs> Bronze, <laughs> Yana. Bronze, <laughs> now, tell me, Zwagi, where did it all begin for you? I mean, beauty, fashion, what? Let's start with the beauty side of it all. All right. Um, I started very young. Mm-hmm. Very, very young. Um, but my story is actually quite weird because I wasn't always into beauty and fashion and all those things. Are you I was kidding? Actually quite the tomboy. Are you kidding? I was actually quite the tomboy. I know from early primary school, uh-huh. you know, I wear the baggy pants, the baggy no. shorts, the baggy t shirts. I'd have a cap, see, what? And just sneakers because, you know what? I've, I've been a big girl all my life. 
life. Mm. I've been a big girl all my I life. Mama, like I so need. That's and one thing had, I know. Mm, about. Mama has a funny story that when in grade two, I started to learn how to make it. <laughs> so I would make a makanda for myself every single day mm -hmm. after school. So I started yeah. gaining a lot of weight. I started yeah. up oh, weight. Okay. So again, in, in, in primary school, you bullied a lot. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I was bullied a lot, called fat, called all those negative things. But now we are viewing them in a positive light. Of course, so that's yeah. where it all started with fashion and beauty. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted something else just to give me confidence. So where was the turnaround for you from being a big girl who was insecure, who didn't love herself, if I can put it that way, yeah, yeah. wearing big clothes just to cover up. Where, where was the turnaround? It was in grade 7 for my grade 7 farewell. You know, I had so much fun going out with my mom. Yeah. You know, I'm so, so, so kind of like, just an yeah. outfit to wear. And funny enough, yeah. I was the only one in pants. 